I began my business face art by Rochelle in 1974. I carry a full line of hypoallergenic cosmetics and skin care. I'm going to teach you today how to do a five minute makeover. But before we create our work of art, we must have a clean canvas. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to teach you how to keep that canvas squeaky clean. Number one, we have our natural balance foamy wash. Now this is a must in every household. This is your makeup remover and this is your cleanser used with water. I cannot emphasize enough how much I think this product should be in every household. After you use your natural balance foaming wash, you're going to use your freshener. All you do is put freshener onto the coet and in rotating motions, clean your face. Now your face is ready for your derma smooth. The derma smooth you use in your shower. This is a non-abrasive cleanser. This is to remove the dead cells and prevent blackheads. Leave it in your shower and every morning or evening when you go into your shower, apply it on your face. Take a washcloth with warm water in rotating motions and just rotate around your face and then rinse with cold water. Now, in order to have a, a very clean face permanently, you want to use, do a facial. I do not believe in facials because they can break your skin and they could be harmful. So what we recommend, and I will have to recommend it to you according to your skin. It could be once a week, it could be three times a week, it could be once a month, it could be every other month. So there I'm going to introduce to you my honey and almond scrub and my soft mask. What you're going to do is steam your face with a sauna, hot towels, or the shower, or any which way that you could steam your face. You're going to apply the honey and almond scrub on the entire face, avoiding the eye area. You leave it on from three to five minutes, take a washcloth with warm water, and remove it. Then we're going to take the soft mask in the exact same way, avoiding the eye area. You will put it on three to five minutes and remove. You now have a squeaky, clean, baby soft skin. We're ready to do our five minute makeover and I will introduce my granddaughter, Rochelle, which we will do our work of art. Now I'm going to start my five minute makeover with Rochelle. I'm going to take the toner on a coet and I'm going to work in rotating motions on the entire face, getting the face ready for your makeover. Second, I'm going to take an eye concentrate. There are no oil glands under the eye, so we're going to dab a little bit of eye concentrate under the eye. Very, very little. This is also used as a night eye cream. Then we're going to take an excellent product called Shadow Way. Shadow Way is a concealer. Look up. And then we're going to dab it under the eye ever so softly. We also can use it on the eye. This will Hold your eye makeup. Do not worry if you put a little too much because you can always blend it. Look up. You can blend it under the eye, blend it over the eye. Look up. Blend it under the eye. Look up. Now we're going to pick a moisturizer. Depending on your skin, I would have to advise you. On Rochelle, I'm going to use which is a basic chiffon cream, which is excellent for most type skins. You take it, put it in your hand, then you apply it on the entire face. What we do now, we rotate up. Moisturizer is nourishing the skin. Remember, it goes up on the entire face and Now we're ready for foundation. There are several foundations, but on Rochelle, I'm going to use our mineral tint. This is an, a mineral tint and a sunblock. It's SPF 20 mineral tint natural glow. Now we're going to work in downward motion. Why? Because we do not want to clog the pores. So therefore we blend down. And this is also lens as your sunblock. It happens to be a marvelous, marvelous, marvelous product. It gives a very light coverage. 
It gives a sunblock, and it's um, good for all types of skins. Look up. And you can even use it if you're jogging or in the beach. It's a fantastic product. So now that we have our canvas nice and clean and smooth, remember if you ever see any residue, we take a Q-tip around any of the areas that you feel you need it. I like to work with color. So therefore, what I do is I put a bronzer on the cheeks and the chin and the forehead because I like to see color before I start working on my eyes. This goes upward into the hairline. And then we blend, make sure we're well blended. Very, very, very important. Now, on, so we start on the eye. I have selected a soft pink. Now, you can, my theme of eye is light, dark, light, which is, close your eye, light, lid, light, lid, just spread it smoothly, light, lid, very important. I will help you select color. Okay. Then we take the deeper shade and we go into the crease area. Ever so lightly, you don't want too much definition. And it also depends on the time of day. The evening we go a little more, the day we go a little less. Go into the crease area. into the corner, just a little bit darker in the corner. You have to look at your eyes and make sure you're happy with the, the color. We have a fabulous product called Shimmer. Now Shimmer is like your cleaner upper. Shimmer you put under the brow what the shimmer does is sort of blend everything together and it gives you the light feeling under the brow. Under the brow. You blend. Blend it all out and make sure you are comfortable with the color. You could add a little more shimmer. A little more shimmer. Then we have an eyeliner. Now what we do with the eyeliner, I prefer personally I prefer a wet eyeliner. It's a, it's a cake liner and you have to wet it. There are several, there are pencils, there are liquids, there are so many different liners out now, but you have to be perfectly still if you use the cake and you draw a thin line. A very thin line. Any, any mistakes or errors, you use your Q-tip. I use a brown on Rochelle because she has very distinct eyes and we don't want to make it too exaggerated. Keep your eyes closed. 
We also have a brow set. This is clear mascara, which will keep your brows in place. You just brush and get your brows in place. Open your eyes, Michelle. Now, if I'm smudged, I take a Q-tip and I open your eyes, Michelle. And then I no a little lower. And I blend. I blend. Make sure they're blended. Now on Rochelle's lashes, they're very long, so I use a clear mascara first. Okay, and then I take a regular high definition mascara, which is a fine mascara, not an ultra lash, and I tip them. Look, look at me. I tip her lashes because she happens to have extremely long lashes. I lower, I tip them. We can also use eye pencil, which could be a liner also, but some people like eyeliner under, look up. We do, in the corner of the eye, we draw a half of a line. Look at me half of a line. Now we're ready for a bronzer. We put the, bron the, uh, the uh, cream bronzer first, now we're ready for the powder bronzer. Powder bronzer goes all over the face. Now you have to look in the mirror and decide how you feel. That's entirely up, it's a very personal feeling. That's your powder bronzer. We take our coet or our Q-tip or whatever, and we make sure, make sure our face is clean. Look up. Okay. We're ready for lips. Going to use a natural lip liner. Right here. A natural lip liner to make to do a distinct lip. Enjoy it. Follow your own line. Follow your own line. Very, very important. Then I'm going to take the long last lipstick, which is fantastic. It comes in an array of colors, and it's uh, it does last longer. Open. You put it on the lip. On the other end, there's the sealer, which will seal your lips. That'll seal it so you'll have your lipstick on through dinner, or whatever, and uh, also people use it Friday night so that their lipstick stays on Saturday. Or for brides. It's terrific for brides. They don't have to re redo their lipstick. This is a lip lacquer, which is could be used as a lipstick, but it also could be used as just the lip gloss to give a little bit more shine to the lips. This is optional. And do not flat your lips. Let's make sure to close your mouth. Make your lips straight. Now we have a optional color veil. It's a sheer veil of shine. It's up to you. It ha gives a beautiful look. This is optional. Take your Q-tip. Look at your canvas. Make sure you're happy with the result. Open your eyes, Rochelle. My work of art. If you don't look good, I don't look good.